This here is my youngest granddaughter, and I've been singing to her for about oh, three or four weeks. We're going to give a little demonstration of singing to a baby. So she has to turn around, she has to look at me, so if I can muscle her around, she's pretty strong for just being a few weeks old. Strong neck, doesn't let her head flop around too much. But here we go. Nayo, 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 hey, hey, ya. Nayo, 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 hey, hey, ya. At in the zone and honey, yo. In the zone and honey, yo. Ya, hey, nay. The traditional teachings of our Dene is that they tell us to always have a uh, song. Hagin Hondondo is the way they say it, but it means being able to sing songs and not only just one song, but as many songs as you can possibly uh, acquire throughout your life. And so singing to the baby and singing to your grandchildren or to your children is very important. And uh, when you sing, you convey feelings of things that they will experience uh, for goodness, for good things in their life. And uh, so they can be strong and so they can uh, be able to think things that will better their lives in all different ways. And so you, when you sing about them, you, like a short verse that I had for the granddaughter, I said that she will be beautiful and that she will walk in beauty in, in many ways. And uh, uh, so that's a song that I just make up. And so I make up songs all the time for my for grandchildren and, and uh, for various things, but it is to say positive things to them and to uh, feel those positive thoughts. And hopefully when they begin to get older, that they recognize those words of positive encouragement, positive thoughts. And so it is that, uh, is what they tell us that uh, you should have some music in your life or songs in your life. So some songs there's just uh, a lot of rhymes. Uh, when I sing the song Neo Neo Neo, that can be understood to mean Nia Nia Nia, or she came and she walked to us. She has arrived here with us to be with us, and uh, then I have actual words that I talk about in the song. So it is that it has lyrics. So in any language throughout the world, songs have lyrics, songs have rhythm, and uh, it is the same way with the Dene. The um, music itself is uh, feelings, and the words actually are words that express feelings. And so songs in that and music in that have a great effect on our feelings. So I remember my late dad when he was uh, having to decide something or he was encountering something that was very different to him. He would go saddle up his horse and he would ride off and so a few hundred yards away from the house I would hear him singing songs. And uh, sometimes I would ride with him and he would sing a song or, you know, as we were riding. And uh, so I learned that there were such things as writing songs and he would, uh, when he was by himself, he would, he would sing these ceremonial songs that he learned to try to refresh his memory. And uh, while he was doing that, his feelings about things he had to deal with was so, so very important for him to deal with while he was singing. And sometimes after he'd figured it out, he would offer up a prayer even while he was riding on horseback. And uh, those are the things that I learned from my, my late father. But uh, music is very important. Even in the uh, non dene culture, you have all of these uh, great composers and that that uh, gave you music. And um, I don't even know all the names of so many of them. I would encourage young people, you know, if you can't sing, you know, learn to play an instrument. Learn to play something, a uh, piano or some other string instruments. In the music world, there's, everything's based on four in music. You have four basic instruments, the woodwind, the brass, the string, and the uh, percussion. It is that everything in music is based on sacred number four. All of your, your octaves, they have 12 notes, the flats and the sharps and the minors and the majors, and each of the octaves, that's the way the music is set up. And a lot of times people say there's only uh, 
seven notes, but that's not true. You have a pause in music and a measure of music. We count that as a, something that is not there, but it is there, so we count it as a whole note, you might say. So it is that music is very important. Learn about it and use it in your life. It will help you deal with so many things and so many moods that you can have in life. And those are the things that we are told. Yeah,